Hi everyone, I hope you're having fun and I am really excited to be filming this video because we are going to go through my eyeshadow palette collection. This was a requested video and today we are going to go through my drugstore palettes. So this video was requested by Mithi. Hi Mithi. She wanted me to do a palette collection video and I started collecting my palettes and I realized I have way too many. So I decided to break them up. Today we are only going to look at my drugstore palettes because I had another request by another of my viewers, Kajal Angel. Hi Kajal. And she said that it would be nice if I keep my video short because, you know, I, I feel her, you know, no one's got time to watch long videos. And I apologize in advance that my hair is up and you might hear a fan in the background because it is hot, so hot that my dog is refusing to go on the porch. So let's begin. And I have a feeling that I might need to break this video down into two as well because this is my palette collection. I don't know if you can see it all. So where should I start? Let's start here because this one holds my very first eyeshadow palette. Well, not very first, but something that I've had for a long time. I'm holding on to it because I love these colors and I must have had this palette for like over 10 years. Like, just look at that pigmentation. I love this palette. I do plan to declutter it at some point of time, but you know, I don't know. Then I have an essence palette and I got this for like a dollar something. And that's why I picked it up. The colors are beautiful, but for some reason I feel like on my lids, they just age me. I love the colors, but yeah, I haven't had the best experience with essence shadows, even though I love essence as a brand. While we're on essence, let me show you a couple of other shadows I do have. These I kind of very, very messily depotted. So these are the single shadows and this one is called All I Need, number 18. This one is called number 21, Keep Calm and Bury On. This is almost a matte. I don't know why it's like they don't swatch that well fingers I guess the matte. I love this color and I have another shadow this one I broke in the process of trying to depot it so this is going to be used for a DIY project but this is like a beautiful beautiful white shimmery shadow like pure my gum so then I have these four individual shadows from Sally Go and they come like this and you can kind of hook them together to make a custom palette I ended up buying these shadows before, when I was trying to kind of replace this palette. This is actually from Maybelline. I wasn't able to, you know, find things that I really liked and I ended up buying these Sally Gold shadows. These shadows are just, you know, okay. They're not bad. They're very, very soft. I have not reached for them, you know, ever. Ever. So since I talked about Maybelline, I have two more of the Maybelline Expert Wear shadows and again I depotted them. I bought them on a recommendation by Tati Glam Life Guru. have again not used them but they're beautiful. They are, they are just like gorgeous. But these kind of shadows don't always give me best looks. These are uh, all my very 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 sadly depotted NYX shadows. I love them. This is the one that I got in Ipsy that got me hooked and then I went crazy. The texture on them is beautiful. The mattes are okay. They pick up better with brush than with fingers. So these are all my NYX shadows, the single ones. Um, now these are the old Ulta shadows that I purchased because they were on sale. This is a really gold, um, this is a really old shadow. I've had it forever. It's by Garden Botanica and it's called Garnet and I love this kind of plum shade. So I don't know if you guys saw it. These are these are the Ulta shadows. These are the NYX shadows and this is the Garden Botanica uh, shade in Garnet. These two are my Makeup Revolution palettes. I have a whole video with this. This is the palette that I gave away during my first giveaway. And I have a whole tutorial using this hashtag slate palette. I love this palette. I love all like the peachy shadows in here. This is a beautiful palette. Tiny but beautiful. I have tried more Makeup Revolution palettes, but those like the very shimmery ones used to kind of, you know, make my eyes itchy. 
this is again a palette that i have done a whole video on this is a beautiful two dollar palette from la colors the pigmentation on this palette is bomb these are all the shimmers these are the mattes for a two dollar palette to come with all these shades this you can say kind of is a replacement for my very first maybelline palette then from LA Colors, I have two more palettes. I bought these purely with DIY projects in my mind. These were a dollar each. This was a palette by Color Mates. The only reason why I bought it was because I was obsessed with this color. Even the other shadows from it are not bad. It's just my palette is broken. And this was, again, a $1 palette. I have two loose pigments from LA Colors and again I bought these with some DIYs in my mind and uh, I haven't gotten to doing that yet. These two LA Color palettes came in the holiday set. They have decent pigmentation on them. I should give these two because, you know, I wore the $2 one for a whole day and it was still there by the end of the day. Then I have two W7 palettes. These are supposed to be dupes for the Urban Decay palette. This one is supposed to be a dupe for the Naked Original. The pigmentation is alright, not that great. And this one is possibly a dupe for the Urban Decay Electric palette. And I got this one because one of my friends wanted a good matte blue eyeshadow and she asked me for a suggestion. So I picked this one up from Burlington Coat Factory and the colors are just so much fun. I haven't used this palette so I can't talk about the quality but these are unusual kind of colors. So talking of colorful palettes, let me just show you all the colorful ones that I have. This one is from Wet n Wild. I still haven't used this one and I don't know if I will. I might put this in a giveaway because, you know, I have too many colorful palettes now. Again, just like the W7 palettes, these are very fun colors. I think this is like better in terms of um, pigmentation and shadow quality. Oh, come on, the yellow. My hand is slightly tacky still from wiping and I don't have any primer on. I got this wet and wild from Walmart. They just kept on sending me broken palettes after palettes. By the time I finally received a non-broken palette, I was able to salvage this. This is more pastel-y compared to that. Uh, these are all the blues and as I said, these are again pastel -y and I felt like the Lorac Beauties Who Brunch palette, this could be a dupe for that for dark skin tones because the Beauty Zoo Brunch palette, I don't know if it shows up on dark skin. I have two more palettes from Wet n Wild. This is my Holy Grail palette. This is, you know, if you find anybody using this on YouTube, they would just like rave and rave and rave about it. This is, you know, a gorgeous, gorgeous color. So, people don't like this side much, but I actually like it. I think it's great. You know, it's more neutral. This is more like, I, I love, I love the whole palette. And again, this was one of the purchases when it was, you know, initially when I started buying eyeshadows and I didn't know um, what to buy and didn't want to spend too much money. And this comes for $7 and that's why I bought it. And I hated, hated it, you know, when I got it. But now I feel like this is not all that bad. You know, the black in this beautiful dark brown beautiful see they are, they are I mean they are like good shadows so but it's too neutral doesn't excite me very rarely do I reach for it and I have two more palettes from NYX I absolutely love this palette this is kind of all the warm neutrals you can say again you know I'm obsessed with this color um, and this color and this color <laughs> you know i'm just obsessed with this palette like i love it i don't use it though because when i like something i don't use it look at the pigmentation on these like amazing it's very difficult to find good mattes and this palette i think has like really good mattes as well as shimmers love this palette i mentioned this palette in one of my past videos i bought this when i was trying to find a dupe for my um, abh modern renaissance palette and it because that one was sold out so i pretty much purchased all 
the palettes which I thought would give me that you know warm pink shade like this particular one but it's it was a little bit disappointed this one gives you a good look but it's very limited because the shades are so close to each other moving on these are my brand new elf shadows um i have a whole video on these if you haven't seen that one i will put a link in the description box and somewhere on the screen uh if i can and uh, it does these links don't show up if you're watching the video on tv i suppose they will show up on the phones i think this was the first replacement that i bought for my maybelline palette and i was really disappointed i was so angry like i gave this palette very bad reviews like really really bad reviews because especially because you know there's like the gold i thought was so muted you know that i was very angry looking back though you know i think it was more my inexperience with shadows but of course the Maybelline ones, let me just swatch them next to it. You know, so this was my expectation when I bought this palette and I was like thoroughly disappointed in it. But on its own, it's not a bad palette. I have to say this was for $2. So for $2, I don't think this is a bad palette. And then I have my larger e.l.f. palettes. Actually, I have one more that I showed you guys during my haul video and I don't think I'm gonna use that one because I'm planning to give that away. I have both the matte for matte palettes. I love them. Uh, this is nice, but this is just, you know, spectacular. If you have like a warm skin tone like mine, like these just work so beautifully. These give you like this like seamless look. I, I, I really, really like this palette. Like if you want a work look, but at the same time want a slight warmth to your face, this is the palette. If you are cool tone, I think this would be your palette. Like for me, I loved it when I initially got it, but after I saw this one, this has taken a back seat <laughs> in my preference level. So this and this both I picked up during my very first Elf haul. That time Elf had a 50% off sale. This is the Sunset palette, and these are the baked shimmers as good as this palette is we need to supplement it and i haven't reached for this in a while all right i think this is a good time to stop we will continue with the rest of my palette collection in the next video and for now i hope you have taken notes of the easter eggs that you found throughout this video and the ones in the past those will be used in our giveaway i will be announcing the actual details of the giveaway next week it's going to be a fun thing we'll be doing an easter egg hunt all right if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow the Easter egg clues. And thanks again for watching. Bye.